Choosing talented, qualified, and motivated students is crucial for successful project completion. Mentoring takes a lot of time and effort. So choosing a student who is motivated, excited to learn, and willing to push themselves results in a much better experience for the student, the mentor, and their community. The student's proposal is only a small part of the process. The attitude, the ability to follow directions, and the level of commitment, all this can be verified ahead of the project proposal submission. So get in touch via Hangout and perform a general interview. Test your student before you select them. This could be challenging them with a small programming task, bug fix. It helps them become familiar with the dev environment and helps mentors gauge their capabilities. For each idea, you may wish to have a different coding task that reflects those specific skills needed. Ensure that your potential student is committed to spending the entire summer on GSOC. The student should not be on any other internship, part-time job, summer school, weddings, vacations, hiking Machu Picchu. Ask about every possible conflict you can think of. Your project ideas should be clearly labeled with a difficulty ranking. Having clear, well-defined project ideas for student applicants to review and discuss with you before and during the application period is key for setting expectations on the difficulty of a project. Consider if your student is fully up to the challenge. Should the project be de-scoped or simplified for the right student? Pre-plan which parts of the projects might be extra credit. Splitting the work into smaller tasks and clear deliverables makes progress easier for both the student and the mentor to track. We are all human, and all humans are different. Take some time to talk to your student before you make any decisions. Pairing the best mentor with the student is vital to a successful student project. You should turn down a student slot if you don't have a solid, qualified, and suitable candidate. Don't set the student up for failure because you want the project to be completed, even though the student might not be a good match. That only makes everyone miserable. The mentor must have knowledge and some level of expertise on the work the student is expected to complete during the summer. It's perfectly normal to have one core mentor or even two for areas outside of your expertise. As for the technical skills, consider requesting a successful patch or pull request submission to evaluate the proposal, regardless of the student credentials and qualifications. Be sure to have a bunch of newbie-friendly issues in your queue and keep that list full throughout the application period. It's easy to run out.